All right, open your boxes. You get a pardon, and you get a pardon, and you get a pardon. Everybody gets a pardon. Yes, I did a couple of videos about Oprah and the DNC going after Trump. A lot of people consider that backstabbing. Joe Rogan had a segment today where he actually went off on Oprah like never before. Before we even go into that clip, there is this old video of Oprah with Trump that is circulating on social media after that interview. Would you, would you ever? Probably not, but I, I do get tired of seeing the country ripped Why off. Why would you not? I just don't think I really have the inclination to do it. I love what I'm doing. I really like it. Also, I, it doesn't pay as well. No, it doesn't. <laughs> but, you know, uh, I just probably wouldn't do it, Oprah. I probably wouldn't, but I do get tired of seeing what's happening with this country. And if it got so bad, I would never want to rule it out totally because I really am tired of seeing what's happening with this country, how we're, how we're really making other people live like kings, and we're not. What do, what do you think of this year's presidential race, the way it's shaping up? Well, it's going to be very interesting. I, I think... Uh, I think that probably George Bush has an advantage in terms of the election. I think that probably people would say that he's got like that little edge in terms of the incumbency, et cetera, et cetera. But I think Jesse Jackson's done himself very proud. I think Michael Dukakis has done one hell of a job. And George Bush has done a hell of a job. You know, he, they all went in there sort of as semi-underdogs, including George Bush, and they've all come out. Uh, I think people that are around all three of those candidates can be very proud of the jobs they've done. You've said, though, that if you did run for president, you believe you'd win. Well, I don't know. I think I'd win. I tell you what, I wouldn't go in to lose. I've never gone in to lose in my <laughs> life. And, and if I did decide to do it, I think I'd be inclined. I, w I would say that I would have a hell of a chance of winning because I think people, I don't know how your audience feels, but I think people are tired of seeing the United States ripped off. And I can't promise you everything, but I can tell you one thing. This country would make one hell of a lot of money from those people that for 25 years have taken advantage. It wouldn't be the way it's been, believe me. This came as a shock to a lot of people seeing Oprah endorsing Kamala and donating a huge sum of money to her campaign. People start questioning, so you have this kind of money, you could not have the people of Maui, now you want to buy a name. That is to tell you a lot. When you take a look at this clip, you will see pictures with Trump, how she was, you know, gurging over him, you know, for a very long time. She took that decision to endorse Kamala, uh, the backlash on social media proceeded. Joe Rogan had this to say, partaking to her. And you watched Trump on The View from like 2015 when they all <laughs> oh, loved him? Yeah, yeah, that's right. You played that yeah. the other day? It's fantastic. It, it's yeah. nuts. Yeah. They're I mean, all like it's being nuts. cute with him. Yeah. And, you know, How about Oprah? Like, Oprah yeah. was talking about her and Trump running together. Yeah. I know. And now he's a, and now she's speaking to the DNC <laughs> that he's a threat to democracy. From, from the redwood forest, love those redwoods, to the Gulf Stream waters, I've seen racism and sexism and income inequality and division. I've not only seen it, at times I've been on the receiving end of it. We are Americans. Let us choose loyalty to the Constitution over loyalty to any individual. Because, because that's the best of America. And let us choose optimism over cynicism, because that's the best of America. And let us choose inclusion over retribution. Let us choose common sense over nonsense. Because that's the best of America. And let us choose the sweet promise of tomorrow over the bitter return to yesterday. We won't go back. We won't be set back, pushed back, bullied back, kicked back. We're not going back. Let us choose honor and let us choose joy because that's the best of America.
But more than anything else, let us choose freedom. Why? Because that's the best of America. We're all Americans, and together, let's all choose Kamala Harris! Thank you, Chicago! Thank you, America. Hey, lady. Yeah, oh, I know. You're rich as fuck. Like, how is yeah. that equal? And also, when Michelle Obama was saying, you know, I think she was saying her mother or grandmother was always suspicious of people who uh, took more than they needed. Yes. Like, yeah, yeah. you are yeah, worth yeah. so <laughs> much know, money. After the DNC speech, Trump released a letter Oprah sent to him. She was asking Trump if they could run together. So you can understand exactly how politics play out here. Now Oprah is saying, oh, Trump is a bad person. He's a threat to democracy. You know, using the same talking points of Democrat. Not personally. I find a lot of her trajectory to not be my brand of woman leader. We've got three major international crises going on and someone applying to be commander in chief. As a woman, I want to see you do more than, you know, appeal to giggling and having a girl moment on the stage. I just don't think that Kamala Harris has anything vested in the air finger quote black or Hispanic experience in so much as it would be identified by anybody that lives in those communities. You're saying you don't think that she can help black or brown people? No, I mean, going to Howard don't make you black. According to this tweet, Kamala's interview last night was a reminder that we are not running against a candidate. We are running against a system. They require a candidate they can control, which means having original idea is a disqualification. That is exactly why we get Biden, then Kamala, and so on. A lot of people agree with Vivek on this. After the CNN interview, which I did not actually even react to, so you will see exactly what is playing out here. The interview made people to see the other side. I vote for Trump. Yeah, me too. I, don't, I go for Donald Trump. Me too. I, I go for Trump. Who are you voting for in 2024? Trump. Trump too. And why is that, ma'am? He the best president ever. Has Barack Obama done anything for around here? And he's never did anything since he's been in office. Yeah. And I'm glad he out. Trump the best. Barack Obama? Man, I ain't got no message to him. I don't mess with Barack Obama. Yeah. No, nah, I'm a Trump supporter. Trump do more for black people and care more about black people. And Barack Obama ain't black. Just to let that be known. All right. <laughs> what about Kamala Harris? I don't f with her either. Yeah. All Trump. Trump all day. Yeah. What's your message to Donald Trump today? Keep going. Keep going. Come get us, man. We waiting on you. I'm a Trump supporter, man. We gonna keep this going. Trump, he a real businessman. I'm a real Republican, man. I want Trump back in office a second term. What would be your message to Barack Obama? I don't know. Pump some money in here. Pump, pump some money like Trump, you know? <laughs> your message to Donald Trump? Come on, man. Get us to the Super Bowl, bro. <laughs> Speech from Michelle Obama that I have to say is one of the best uh, gun-toting... Damn, Kamala. Kamala Harris is in office right now and has not tried to do anything about the border, has not tried to not tax people on tips. For some people, it's already started. But, but when you disrespect Kamala Harris, they say the... And they disappear. The money in politics is so extraordinary, which is something that should have never been allowed to happen. Much more happens at the DNC.